Hello and welcome to another episode of my Productivity Mastery series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I want to talk to you about how you can start your very own YouTube channel or podcast or blog because the actual principles involved are exactly the same even though the medium or the topic might be different. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I do get quite a few questions from people, from my coaching clients, and indeed from people who are writing to me, asking me, how do I start my own podcast? Or indeed, it could be YouTube channel, or it could be blog post, now, blog series. Now, the, the simple way to do this is stop reading all the rubbish that's out there about identifying your target audience. The truth is, you're not going to know who your target audience is until you get started. Now, when I started this YouTube channel four years ago, four and a half years ago, I was targeting the age group between 35 and 60. But within about two weeks, I realized that that was complete and utter rubbish. It was very random. Uh, when I looked at the analytics that YouTube gave me, my demographic was actually very different from the one that I'd spent weeks trying to understand and develop. So what I realized was is that trying to understand your audience from the very beginning, before you've put any content out there, is just a complete waste of time. What you can do is once you've got a few podcasts out there, once you've got a few YouTube videos or a few blog posts out there, you can then access analytics. That Google will give you the analytics and you can look at your demographics then and you can look at whether you know, you're predominantly attack, uh, attracting male viewers or female viewers or, or you're attracting a particular age group. You will never really understand that until you get the demographics. Of course, there's a number of people we would like to hit. I mean, we'd love to hit billionaires and CEOs who have got lots and lots of money to spend and to support you, but the reality is you will never know who is going to be watching your videos or listening to your podcast until you get them out there. And I think sometimes people are using this analytics and, and people are trying to design their, their ideal viewer as just a way of procrastinating. It's not actually producing content. The only thing that really matters if you want to start a podcast or a YouTube channel or a blog is your topic. Are you sufficiently passionate about your topic in order to keep you going when things are difficult because they do get difficult. It's very easy to come up with an idea for one video or two videos or even three videos, but it's much more difficult to come up with an idea for 700 videos. The only way you're going to do that is by having a passion and an interest, a real interest in your topic and there's no escaping that. You can come up with like a list of 20 things. 20 videos is not going to produce a great YouTube channel. You have to put in, and this is kind of another point, you have to commit yourself to putting out a video or a podcast or a blog post every single week. There's no escaping that. You have to commit to doing that. Now to commit to putting a video out or a YouTube uh, or a podcast or a, pod, a blog post out every single week, the only way you can commit to that is to be able to find the time in your schedule every single week. Now for me, I have Monday mornings for writing a blog post, I have Tuesday mornings for writing my podcast script, and I have Thursday and Friday afternoons for preparing these videos. And I do that religiously week after week after week. I have committed myself to producing this content every single week. Now you cannot sort of say, oh great, I'm going to start a podcast and I'm going to record it and this and you do it in one week and you discover it takes you five hours to do it and you think, oh, I'm not going to find five hours every single week. If you're not committed to finding however many hours it takes to produce whatever it is you want to produce, 
then you're just not going to succeed. Now it's okay if you want to put a one or two videos out there, but don't get ideas above your station if you're only putting one or two videos out every six months. Not much is going to happen, you're not going to build a following, and you're not going to be building what I would describe as a channel. You're just putting randomly videos up there and you'll be lucky to get 10 or 20 subscribers. The next point I would say is don't look at the numbers in the first six months. You will be disappointed. You will think, why am I spending all this time for just two or three people to watch my video or listen to my podcast or read my blog post? Now, one of the things that I find quite interesting is I see a lot of people online coming and saying, oh, I am this expert, I am that expert, I am this kind of coach, and I'm kind of this person. And I go on, particularly the social media experts, uh, I then go to their website and I have a look at what they're doing. And I also go, oh, they've got a blog. And you go there and they've got five blog posts. I'm sorry, guys, that's just not going to impress me because I understand after five years or four years of doing this kind of stuff that it isn't just about putting five blog posts up there and then calling yourself an expert. You are not an expert. If you really want to impress people to be able to follow you, if you really want people to truly understand and be, become raving fans of yours, then you are going to have to do this consistently, week after week after week. Five blog posts does not impress me. You want 50, 500 blog posts. Now I'm going to be impressed because now I see your commitment. It's not just you deciding to call yourself an expert at something and then hope people will spend money hiring you to advise them. It doesn't work like that. You need to put in the effort. You've got to put the graft in. Nice pictures on Instagram telling people how wonderful your life is doesn't impress the people who you really need to impress. So if you're going to commit yourself to whether it's a YouTube channel, whether it's a podcast, whether it's a blog, you just need to make the commitment. Forget about the numbers in the first six months. They're never going to impress you. It's going to be hard graft. That's why it's so important to make sure you are passionate about the subject you're talking about. If you're not passionate about it, if you just think, oh, it's my latest trend, you're not going to succeed. You really need to be passionate about your subject, whatever it is. And we all have passions. I mean, I have passions. That I've been following James Bond 007 since I was 12 years old. I probably could write a book on what I have learned and discovered and, and seen from James Bond movies. I've been passionate about productivity and time management since I was about 15 years old. It's probably, well, that's definitely over 30 years. I have been so passionate about it. I've read every available book. I feel I now have knowledge that I can pass on to you. And I've been doing these YouTube channels and my podcast and my blog for a well, the blog certainly for over five years, and I put the work in week after week after week. I now have 700 videos on this YouTube channel. I've just recorded the, I think it's the 140th episode of my podcast, which I started about two, three years ago, and my blog. I know there's probably about 500 blog posts out there over the last four years. That's the kind of commitment that you have to make if you want to build a successful channel, whether that's YouTube, a podcast, or a blog post, or even indeed Instagram. So there you go. I wanted to pass that on. Last week, we hit 50,000 subscribers on this channel, and I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your support, all your kind comments over the years. I'm not stopping. I love doing this. I love being able to help you guys every single week, and I just want to thank you. So now we're on our way to 100,000 subscribers, and I really, really want to be able to help as many, many people as I can to become better productive, more better organized, and more productive. Well, thank you very much, much for watching this video. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I'd like to introduce you to a brand new way of managing your tasks. Now, this system is called the Time Sector System. It's designed to do away with your projects, to do away with your goals, or at least do away with them from your 
time management system, your to-do list manager, and instead focuses on when you are going to do the task. Now, the reason for this is from a research that I did for the whole of last year, figuring out why most people were really struggling with their tasks, getting their tasks done on a day-to-day -day basis. What I discovered was they were managing their tasks by project. And the biggest problem with managing task by project is first of all deciding whether a task is a project or not. Two or more tasks becomes a project, which means that you end up with a huge project list. And once you have a huge project list, just managing that list takes up an awesome amount of time. Time you could well better be spent actually doing the work, not organizing. The time sector method is designed to do away with all that processing so that the only decision you have to make is when are you going to do a task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired, how urgent a task is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. So the whole clip, this, I have launched a brand new course that gives you the step-by-step -step approach of setting up the time sector method. It's a revolutionary course. It's designed for the 21st century. For all the inputs that we get today, all the emails, the Slack messages, and everything else that comes our way, it's designed to deal with that, to manage that so you stay focused on what you have identified are your most important tasks for the day. I'd love to see you in the course. Full details of the course are in the show notes below. I'd love you to check it out. Join me in the course and let's take your productivity to a greater level than you've ever, ever imagined. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I just wish you all a very, very productive week.